Welcome to this month's market update. I'm joined today by Chris Trevelyan, Director of Investment Strategy with Frontier Advisors. Hi there, Chris. Hey, Wayne. So US debt ceiling has been in the news quite a bit of late. Can you step us through exactly what that is and why investors should be paying attention to that? Yes, the US debt ceiling was the source of a lot of discussion through May. So as brief background, the debt ceiling is law in the US that limits the amount of government borrowing that the government can spend on its expenses. Um, now that debt ceiling was expected to be reached in early June. Now historically, Congress does raise or suspend the debt ceiling um, when it's required. As you can see in this chart here, it's happened a number of times in the past. Um, however, with uh, political disagreement heightened in the US, there was um, heightened concerns about what might occur there. The, the fear was that an agreement wouldn't be reached and that that might cause the US to default on some of its debt and that would have major impacts on global economies. Now, in the end, an agreement was reached towards the end of the month and the debt ceiling has been suspended until 2025. And so how have markets responded to those concerns over that period, Chris? Well, there actually hasn't been that much impact. So for the month of May, the US stock market was up a small amount. The debt negotiations did have some impacts on volatility through the month. So at the start of the month, the US stock market was down. But then that rebounded later in the month as sentiment improved that there was confidence that an agreement would be reached. So overall, a lot of noise, but it's now being pushed further ahead for a number of years. And so markets have been relatively smooth in that time, but there's definitely been some pockets of activity, hasn't there, in particular parts of the markets? Yes, there has been this huge divergence in some of the stock price performance of different areas. Um, the recent positive performance of the overall market has been heavily concentrated in a small number of stocks, specifically some of those big US technology stocks. So the US stock market is up close to 10% since the, since the start of 2023. However, equal weighted, the black line on this chart, the average stock price performance, as you can see, is roughly flat since the start of the year. Those colored lines are those large US technology stocks, stocks like Amazon, Meta, Alphabet, and you can see they've produced some really large returns since the start of the year. And that's what's pulled up the overall stock market. Now, those technology stocks are benefiting from expected future growth from artificial intelligence, AI developments. So we'll see how that unfolds. Always a lot of attention on central banks and interest rates. And again, some more activity there in the last month, Chris. Yes. Yeah, so at the total level, inflation is moderating. But as you can see here, core inflation still remains stubbornly high. So tight labour markets continue to put upward pressure on inflation. And we're seeing housing supply shortfalls continue to put upward pressure on rental inflation. And so this is impacting central banks being able to halt their interest rate rises. And so we saw that then at the start of June when the Reserve Bank of Australia increased interest rates again by another 25 basis points. So market pricing is suggesting that maybe we haven't seen the end of interest rate rises yet. So plenty to keep our eye on looking forward. Thanks for bringing us up to speed today, Chris. And thanks for watching this month's market update.